What's going on guys, it's Pixelated, and today we're doing a little bit of a special unboxing. As you can see, I got this sizable square-ish pink box. Of course, it's a special unboxing, so we've got some special material laid out on this tabletop. What kind of material, you ask? Oh, it's just premium dark gray suede material. Is it from the upper of a shoe? Not really. It's also much softer than suede on a shoe, but that's not remotely relevant to what we're talking about today. Now, you see this box. You know exactly what it is. And even if you wouldn't have known otherwise, you do because of the title. This is the ever so limited cause BFF plush character in pink that dropped recently on April the 9th on cause website. The John retailed for 200 US dollars and sold out instantly. It is reselling selling for around 800 US dollars in the aftermarket and will most likely go up over time. We'll get into the specifics in a second, but first it might be important to unpack why exactly cause is so important, not just in sneaker culture, but in art and in our lives, because a lot of us buy cause figures or other cause related items without really knowing the history of these things. And it might benefit you to know that cause isn't just something that resells in the aftermarket sometimes, or is just highly coveted for no reason, because that's not really true. Cause is an American artist who is really real name is Brian Donnelly. He started off as a graffiti artist, slashing his artist name cause everywhere, especially onto billboards with huge corporate advertisements. His perspective being that these huge advertisements that took up city walls were taking away canvas for graffiti artists to do their thing. So it was his way of taking a stand. Eventually, he was able to create his first vinyl toy in 1999, and one opportunity led to another, and here we are. The cause legacy continues. Some people might still be wondering why Cause is so highly revered and why his figures and collectibles are so coveted. Fair question, but before we get into that, let's get into this unboxing, and before we get into this, feel free to follow me on Instagram at pixelated, that's at P-I-C-S-O-L-E-A-T-E-D, for Fire Sneaker and other content. I'm traveling to Japan again, so you're most likely going to get more Japan content. Alright, now let's get into this unboxing. So first and foremost, we got this giant pink box. It is very, very square. There's quite a bit of detail around the box. You can't really see it as well with the plastic on. Plastic has a little bit of a barcode, assuming this could help you legit check this thing. Okay, so let's take it out of the plastic. See all the details around the box. Cause design detailing. It's pretty much the cause face with the eyes, with the X's and the nose. It's the BFF without the body. See the whole BFF on here. And yes, I did wash my hands before I did this. Just slide this lid off ever so gently. This isn't mine, by the way, guys. I'll explain how I got it later. And there is the cause BFF plush. She's taking her nap, as you can see. Get her out of here. She came in a bunch of uh, fluffy stuff, a bunch of stringy papery stuff. That's her nest right there. Being super gentle with the box because I don't own it, you know? And there she is, ladies and gentlemen. Out of the pink nest, we have the ever so soft pink BFF plush figure. If you're wondering how I got it, I didn't. P actually won a raffle for it. This BFF pink plush was limited to 3,000 and they're all numbered. You can see right here that she got number 1994 out of 3,000 and this is the biggest coincidence ever because that's her birth year. So that's insane that they somehow managed to get that. The details on this plush are really nice. We've of course got the signature cause eyeballs with the X on them. Got the signature glove. <laughs> it's kind of hard to hold her head up and hands at the same time but got the signature gloves with the X's on them too. Her feet has X's too and yes I I just gave her a gender. I don't know what she's decided on because she hasn't told me. She doesn't speak too much. You see, she doesn't have a mouth. But other than that, that's what it is. I mean, I don't think we're really talking about quality here when we're talking about this pretty much just a soft plushie what's funny is p was telling me that her cause sesame street felt like more quality they felt more stuff than this did which is pretty interesting considering that the retail of this was about four or five times what the cause sesame street plushies were actually i could probably compare and figure that out right now hold up all right we got cookie monster up in here it's kind of not fair to compare her with cookie monster who's cookie monster he's a little fatty right here you see that he's got a lot of weight on him those chocolate chip cookies add up now based on what I can tell oh yeah the fur on mr. cookie monster right here is definitely softer he's obviously more stuffed I mean just based on character that he is I don't have any of the other cause Sesame Street just because I'd rather prefer to just have this guy but he's definitely better quality than the cause blush which goes to say that these are really just meant to be art and collectibles they're not really you're not paying for the quality or anything of that sort but I could be wrong sometimes thin material is quality too but you can just tell that the fur is not really soft on this one compared to this guy right here he's also really really stuffed a little fat boy Oh yeah, now that I'm lifting her back up after holding up Mr. Cookie Monster, she's definitely not nearly as stuffed as the Cookie Monster. But there's also some good news. Good news is P is giving me this plush for retail. Thank you P, shout out to you. 
Just kidding, I know that ain't about to happen. <laughs> Now, if you're wondering what causes so coveted, you're not alone to the everyday individual, it doesn't really make sense. And to most people, it doesn't make sense as to why art is so highly coveted in general, at least, you know, pop art like this that isn't considered high art, like some painting done by some bozo in 1865. Just kidding, those paintings are nice, but let us support our contemporaries. Now, because art is usually subjective and can be interpreted in many ways, there could be multiple answers to this, but in my opinion, the reason why his work is so coveted and highly regarded is because he makes characters that most people can relate to in one way or another. One of Cosmo's popular, if not his most popular character, is the Companion. There are traces of another character here that you're probably familiar with, but couldn't put your finger on at first glance, right? That's right, it's Mickey Mouse. He's wearing similar pants and he's got the gloves, the same sort of body that Mickey Mouse has. Cos releases these figures in numerous variations whenever he pleases, and every figure, at least to me, feels in some way relatable on a human level. Take the Cos Companion's Small Lies figure, for example. It's got its head on its shoulders, hunched down with a long nose. It could be interpreted as symbolizing guilt and the emotions related to when you tell a small lie. The long nose is a reference to Pinocchio when his nose gets longer every time he lies, the key behind Kaz is that he is able to take art and reproduce it in a format that is easily digestible and consumable. Vinyl figures, the plush, even his collaboration with Jordan Brand on the fours. Of course, there's more to it. He's been able to take plenty of pop culture iconic characters and made his own versions of them. For example, there's the Sesame Street X Kaz right here, Snoopy Kaz, and The Simpsons, and others. But in a short summary, this is why I think Kaz is a leader in contemporary art in current times. Even the great Murakami sort of followed in his footsteps by having that Doraemon collaboration. He took an iconic pop culture character and just plastered his signature flower print all over it. And you know what they say, you always imitate the greats. What did you guys think? Was this helpful to you? Did I get something wrong? Or is there something else I should have touched on in this video? Leave it all in the comments. Catch you later. Pixelated has got a new BFF.